the yellow brick road. Me follow the devil in code. What are you doing, Miss Sunsardall? Oh, hello, boys. I'm just making a list of books. Special books. I mean, mm, yes. In fact, they teach us too much. Miss Sunsardall, Jimmy's looking through the Renaissance art books again. Filthy 15th century. Are you going to burn the Bible? Only the Jewish parts. Get him! Make a woman happy? Who put such filthy ideas in your head? Reverend Putty? Putty, eh? Hmm. Well, a little picketing in front of the holy building should cool his ardor. Thanks for testifying, Oral. You're dismissed. But I said you're dismissed. Every time you hear a bell, an angel burns in hell. Miss Sensordown, the librarian? Yeah, eggs are all she eats. Uh-oh. Morning, friend. How would you like them today? Under-fried, Figarelli. Extra slithery. Sure thing. <laughs> Give me those. No problem. <laughs> huh. I gotta go throw up all of a sudden. Want to come along, Oral? No thanks, Dewey. I'm happy right here. You sure like eggs, don't you, Miss Sunsardall? Why wouldn't I, Oral? They're one of life's only pleasures, next to picketing. Picketing? Mm. Picketing. You know, uh, protesting, purifying, doing God's work. On the house, friend. <laughs> as long as... Sleep easy, Figurelli. Your establishment remains untouched by my moral sanctions for the time being. Why are you lurking back there, Poppington? Just checking for something. Hot dog! Picket signs! Is there for this Saturday's screening of the greatest story ever to... Me? Oh, they all are, Oro. If you find a way to look at them just right. Let's let God be the judge of that, shall we? <laughs> oh. <gasps> of course. That God even makes me feel inferior. What do you have there? <laughs> Ah, yes, nicely spotted, Oral. Thought you'd weasel your way onto my shelves, eh, my pretties? Hey, young man, you've a good nose for the offensive. That's a special gift. It is? I'm going to allow you to apprentice under me. Gee, thanks. Yes, that's what I need, a malleable young mind to really sink my teeth into. <laughs> Story of Jesus immorally teases. Story of Jesus immorally teases. Uh, uh, please let us in. What else am I supposed to do with my grandchildren for two hours? We shouldn't tolerate evil just because it's convenient. Um, one senior and one child for the five o'clock, Miss Sensor? In your dreams, Scab, this moving picture has officially been deemed morally unfit by God himself. That's right. We're offended. And for your information, I have exactly two and a half decades before I will have the displeasure of receiving a senior discount at this pit of hell. No, happy 40th birthday? Indeed. Your birthday? Why didn't you say something, Miss Sensordall? I prefer not to annually celebrate the emergence of my unclad body out of such an unsavory passage as my mother's womb. But it's still nice to get presents. Be that as it may, we have more important work to do. Fluid switching bodies is the naughtiest of naughties. Communing with caffeine stimulates and that's obscene. God demands compliance. 
Stop using science! <laughs> That's enough for today's soldiers. We'll resume tomorrow. Good work, Oral. Care to join me in an egg salad omelet? Mm? No thanks, Miss Censored All. I have an errand to run. Suit yourself. Thanks. Oh. And what is all this horseplay, Figarelli? That little brat. He's protesting. Eggs. Oh, he is, is he? Oral. I thought I taught you to close your mind, not lose it. But eggs are evil. And who deemed that? Um, yes, well, uh, this time it's all right. Oh, because they're delicious and nutritious, and they come in a handy shell. Really, Miss Censored All, we shouldn't tolerate evil just because it's a convenience. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Outlaw all the eggs that come from between the legs. Outlaw all the eggs that come from between the legs. Outlaw all the eggs that come from between the legs. Outlaw all the eggs that come from between the legs. Outlaw all the eggs that come from between the legs. Boy, it sure feels good to be right, huh, Miss Censored All? Good. Right. How about some eggs? Are those eggs righteous, Mr. Figarelli? Oh, sure. There's always a loophole. See? How about them, friend? They're sin-free. Sin-free. That's for me. I have to go. I'll see you, Franny. This way, ma'am. <laughs> okay. How do you like it? Oh, natural. discover that little babies are the devil's scabies. I'm not home yet, Mother. I told you. 9P of M. No sooner. Ponycrops, Sensodal. What's your plan B? Uh, don't worry about the mayor. He'll soon be in my back pocket. I assure you that. Oh, by the by, I want something special this time round. Are you sitting? Fertilized. That's right. Fertilized eggs, teeming with inner life. Quit gagging, man, and listen to me! I'll reward you thoroughly. Yes, yes, I'll finally at long last allow you to gaze upon my cursed virtue, heathen. Mmm, quite dry. Yes, dry as a hen's. My mother saw to that. Speaking of whom, I'm hanging up. Don't fail me. Hello, mother. No, I just got in. Well, it shouldn't have been occupied. Perhaps you fingered the dial erroneously. Yes, I heard some of it. 
Mother, I hardly think the Reverend Putty is sufficiently pious enough to even tackle the subject of original sin. Of course I'm more suited! What a question! My lack of eggs is not a hindrance! It is an asset! Don't push me down like that when you did this to me! Well then, what good was relieving me of my reproductive parts if I cannot be an expert on the matter? I was an infant when I had them. I was an infant when you had them removed. So for all intents and purposes, I am immaculate from conception. I am not holier than thou, mother. But I am holier than you. We need others in our life as a constant reminder that we're not the center of the universe. Because there's only one person who's reserved that particular section of the cosmos. You know who that is, ladies. Yes, me. I am matriarch of Moralton. Come along, girls. We have a protest to launch. Remember, Satan starts a crying when you use a clever rhyme. Um, I didn't get a sign, Fran. Last one to spurn, first one to burn. It appears we don't need you today, Bluberta. Hmm. All right. Finish this slogan. Unbridled free thinking leads to two words. Some call it a phrase. Come on! Unbridled free thinking leads to... Me stinking! Excellent, Millie Spray Booth. Poignant and specific. You're quite an asset. Looks like someone is going to make Coach Fakie a very proud husband. And someone isn't! Blaberda, will you be a dear and stand over there out of the way? We've tried our best, young man, but it's high time we gave up. Please, quit saying that. Hey, I've got an idea. You might shoot it off by mistake. There aren't any mistakes. But... Don't butt me! What's all this, Oral? Pain? Hunting leg? Yeah, my dad... The mayor? Uh, yeah, and I went hunting. The mayor went hunting, and you were hurt? Well, my leg was. I shot myself. I see. The mayor's a responsible man. He couldn't do it. No, ma'am. In fact, he was extremely responsible for illegalizing eggs. Only a hunter could so bravely hunt down those criminals. Yes, ma'am. No, your father is certainly not a nester. A uh, nester? Yes, you know. A mother bird caring for her precious, fragile eggs. But uh, eggs are evil. No, Oral. Eggs are life. Nesting is life. Hunting is death. It's what our good mayor runs this town on. Not life. Nesting. Um. No need for your lifeless prepackaged items, Figurelli. The seeds of spring have been well planted. See you in the fall, Oral. And now, please welcome the next matriarch of Moralton, Francis Clara Sensordal! Citizens, our fair town is yearning for the guiding wing of a nurturing, life-giving matriarch. Moralton will finally be shed free of its savage, nest-upsetting hunter mare who shakes our precious nest and shatters our fragile life eggs. Mayor Clayton, middle initial Puppington. By my esteemed opponent, a feminine foul temptation. Succulence, completely enveloped by that soiled, evil, maternal opening. I'm here. Okay. Miss Sincerdahl, your rebuttal? I have no rebuttal. I hereby concede to my worthy opponent. 
and withdraw my candidacy for mayor. Miss Sensordal, what about your whole platform on nesting? Look, Oral, a lady has no business running for office when there are books to burn. See you at the library. Uh, I got some business to attend to. Why? Why did you withdraw from the election? Hmm, sit down. What do you have up your sleeve? You have special powers, don't you? Powers? Yeah. You made me shoot Oral. I know it. I had a dream. You flatter me, young Puppington. Young? I'm your age. In years, maybe. But I'm older where it really counts. <gasps> Looks. Hmm. And confidence. You're right. I can't do anything. Wrong. You can do anything. Everything, as long as Mommy says you can. Mommy? Yes. Mommy. Mommy. <gasps> what do I do? I'm at the end of my rope. My kid, my wife, two illegitimate kids. Oh, I wish there was something somewhere that I could pump full of my anger. Something that wouldn't produce another life. There is. <gasps> that... My dear Mayor, is the only egg you'll ever find down there. Mm. 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 Yes, your mummy's little hatchling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the precious mm -hmm. ever. Hello, boys. You're not sinning, are you? Oh, good. Carry on. <laughs> Nothing, Oral. <laughs> Oral Poppington doesn't know who God is. How did that one fall through the cracks, hmm? Sensodal here. I've been keeping an eye on your son, Mayor. It seems that he knows nothing of our Lord yet. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. You know, Puppington, we wouldn't want your next elections to be protested on moral grounds. <laughs> Goodbye. It seems the boy has been getting some erroneous information from elsewhere. Bring him to the library. It's time for this little man to be scared sacred. Now, young man, have you ever heard of a place called... Fran, you are terrific at this. Ugh. Hell is a horribly hot and homoerotic place where bad little boys go who question God. Homoerotic? There's that word again. God doesn't have to prove things to you. You have to prove things to God. I do? Yes, and if you don't, you'll suffer the fate of Abraham. No, not him. Who's he? Oh, God, please don't ask that. He was someone from the Old and Worst Testament. And Abraham didn't even question God. But God still made him take his son to the altar. This is a great A nail biter. And kill him. That's how he proved to the Lord that he loved him. Platonically, of course. So what happened? What happened? I'm sweating bullets here. Well, God stopped Abe from killing his son at the last minute, which was a little too nice of him, if you ask me. I mean, amen. So, no more proof of God talk, understand? Mm. You can go now. <laughs> well, we fixed that. <laughs> ah! Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the rooster crowed three times. Hmm. The autobiography of Lucille Orb. Mm hmm. Ah, the history of the Hoover Darn. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Miss Sensodal. Oh. Hello, Stephanie. What do you want? Fiction section. Yes, really. Well, you see, there isn't one. I burned it. Burned it all down. With fire, sweet cleansing fire, fire that will keep all the citizens here in Morton good, ignorant sheep. Be that as it may. Oh, hello, Missing Link. 
What do you want? <laughs> oh, why don't you two get a room? <laughs> uh. Oh, Periwinkles, I'm really going to hell for this one. Goodbye-bye! <laughs>